Yes, I know I'm driving, but real quick, I think the Spirit has put um, an answer, prayer, really, for me in my heart because I have been trying to figure out how to address this situation. I've been trying to figure out how to approach it without offending people, even though I really don't care about offending people anymore because people are just going to be offended. If your opinion's not the same as theirs, there's a thing. Well, this isn't what this video is about. This video is... One thing I've heard lately, I've been called a radical, or I'm doing too much, too much scripture, all kind of stuff. And it's not just from worldly people. It's from the people that sit beside you in church. Um, people that call you brother. But we're not even going to go there because if some of them hear it, they know who they are. You know, what I'm finding is that the ones who have truly been rescued from the depths of hell, from death, the ones who truly have walked or crawled a broken path and found Jesus, we're not radical. We just know. It's not a question anymore. We know because he saved us. He rescued us. It's not something I can explain. It's something you have to experience. It's not just a it's not just a raising your hand, receiving a Bible and, and say, it's a walk of life. It's our job to warn against the evil. It's our job to go forth and make fish of men. I don't understand why I have brothers in Christ that give me the hardest time. Brothers in Christ give me the hardest time for pointing out evil. And I think that's a problem. It's a problem because I let my own brothers in Christ quench my fire for Christ. I let them put a muzzle on a mouth that God wanted to speak. I don't say that lightly. I don't say that God wanted to use my mouth lightly. I know it because I've I read his word every morning and I was searching and begging him to speak. And then he was speaking and I had people around me telling me, you're doing too much. It's too much scripture. It's too much of this. It's too much of that. You're pushing people away. Well, you know what? As I was saying, I think it's the ones who have really been on the broken path. The ones that just know now. It's not a question anymore. We know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And we know that if you turn from your evil ways and follow after him, him being Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came, who was hung on a cross, put in the grave, and then he rose again on the third day. That same Jesus Christ is real. And he will walk with you. And he will talk with you and he will guide you and he will go before you and behind you. Although my enemies surround me by the thousands, my God will shatter the teeth of the wicked. Hallelujah. My God is not a quiet God. He's a loving God, but he's not the same love that this world has misconstrued his love is a righteous love. The worldly love is a worldly love. It's a fleshly love. It's basically saying you have to accept me for what I want to do, not what he wants me to do, but for what I want to do. I, 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 I. They got a lot of them saying, I, 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 I. Yeah, it's all I, I, I. Well, the moment you realize that it's not about you, nothing is. It's about everyone around you. It's about what you can do for everyone around you, for the broken, for the hurt, for the needy, for the sick. Until you figure that out, I don't know if you're going to find joy. So you're going to continue quenching your brothers in Christ, Holy Spirit fire that they're trying to flood the earth with in a time of demons and death and nastiness all around us being shoved in our children's faces and y'all stay quiet choosing to follow the world and stand with the world and stand with God well no kingdom can stand divided I'm not going to get all riled up again but it, it gets me riled up because I have children and as I watch all you others just stand by not even just stand by now you've quit standing by and you started picking on your brothers and Christ, sisters in Christ for pointing out the evil that's, that's wrong. 
I pray for you as I pray for myself in Jesus' name because he's the only one that can help. Mm.